Hello everyone. Our today's topic for the chemistry A level 9701 is now this is for AS class 9701 subject 4 AS level AS level the topic is bond energies and enthalpy changes with respect to bond making and bond breaking we know that bond making and bond breaking bond making is always exothermic bond making is always exothermic and bond breaking is always endothermic processes uh, endothermic processes now uh, if we compare both of these if large amount of energy is released during making bond if large amount of energy is released and small amount of energy is absorbed it means that the overall process is exothermic because the large amount is released and a very small amount is absorbed that will be compensated quite easily. And on the other hand, on the other hand, if if small amount is released during the bond formation or bond making and large amount of energy is absorbed while breaking the bond then automatically the overall process will becomes endothermic and the energy released will be compensated automatically in this manner with the help of this bond making and bond breaking we can easily identify as the process is exothermic or endothermic next is uh, the next is bond energy. What is bond energy? This is defined as the enthalpy change when one particular type of bond is uh, broken or when one uh, particular type of bond is formed that is called as bond energy for example the bond energy of hydrogen bond energy of hydrogen is equal to 436 kilojoule per mole this is indicating this equation indicates that this indicated equation indicates that one mole of hydrogen gas molecules are broken down into two moles of atoms then 436 kilojoule per mole energy is absorbed is uh, sorry uh, is absorbed and this is called as a bond energy on the other hand if two mole of hydrogen gas combine together to form one mole of molecular hydrogen gas then the same amount of energy will be released and 436 kilojoule per mole energy will also be considered as a bond energy but in, when the bonds are broken the process will endothermic and the, this positive sign will indicate the endothermic process but when bonds are formed then the energy is released according to this concept the negative sign indicates that the energy is released exothermic process now this is a single bond for example if if one mole if one mole of oxygen if one mole of oxygen 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 double bond and this bond energy that can be represented by e e and alkene energy this will be indicated just like this if one mole of oxygen is broken down into oxygen atom 
Similarly, two moles of oxygen atom will form and the amount of energy uh, utilized will be uh, positive 498 kJ per mole. As the bond is broken, that's why endothermic process takes place and 498 kJ per mole energy is absorbed during the breaking of one mole of oxygen oxygen double bond. But contrary, if two moles of oxygen atom combine to give one mole of oxygen molecule, the same amount of energy will be released and the sign will be changed. This is called as a bond energy. This is called as bond energy. Now next is next is what is average bond energy? What is average bond energy? Why do we take average bond energy uh, for the calculation? And as we know that average mean uh, this is the average of different kind of energy. Why we use average bond energy? For example, in case of water, we know that two hydrogen atoms are combined with one oxygen. Here, the bond enthalpy of oxygen hydrogen bond will be different from for example this same oxygen hydrogen bond is present here but this bond has a different environment but this oxygen hydrogen bond has a different environment this will be also represented just like this similarly in case of ammonia nitrogen is bonded with three hydrogen with three hydrogen but in case of methyl amine methyl amine the same nitrogen no doubt is bonded with hydrogen but on one side it is bonded with carbon atom that's why the bond energy of nitrogen hydrogen bond in ammonia will be different from the nitrogen hydrogen bond due to the different environment due to the different atoms or group of atoms which are attached to that carbon atom that's why and instead of using bond energy we use average average we use average bond energies Average bond and energies. We use this instead of using single bond energy. As we know that the parent hydrocarbon, as we know that parent hydrocarbon are alkanes, and the first member of alkane is methane. For example, to find out the average bond energy, we can use enthalpy cycle for the different substances. For example, in case of methane, we have carbon as a graphite, graphite plus two moles of hydrogen gas. Now, if we develop enthalpy cycle, what we can make? we can make one mole of carbon gas and four moles of hydrogen gas. During this process, definitely we will use delta H0 atomization of carbon and plus four times delta H0 atomization of hydrogen half moles of hydrogen four times. Now, from these elements, we can also develop a methane gas, CH4 gas. Now, this methane gas can be decomposed into these elements. Now, this is delta H 
enthalpy change when methane will be broken down if the formation of uh, methane delta h not f is given if delta uh, h not f is given then automatically from uh, the from the values of these atomization of carbon and four time atomization of hydrogen the value of delta h not f will be subtracted then the answer will come and that answer will be divided by 4 divided by 4 why because in methane one molecule contain 4 carbon to hydrogen bond that's why we will get automatically by dividing 4 the bond energy between carbon and hydrogen and this carbon and hydrogen energy will be considered as a average carbon to hydrogen bond energy and this value will be more reliable in uh, whenever we will consider because in majority of the organic compound carbon hydrogen bond remains approximately in the same environment that's why its energy will be considered as average but if the atoms are attached to different atoms and having different uh, chemical environment definitely their bond energy will also be changed so instead of bond energy we use average bond energy now the next is next is calculating enthalpy changes using bond energy calculating enthalpy changes using bond energy yes calculating enthalpy changes using bond energies uh, using bond energy or average bond energy for example this is our uh, example C2H5O H if we burn this uh, uh, ethanol into atmosphere we will get carbon dioxide and water first of all we will balance it two carbon atom then we will multiply two carbon atom then the total um, uh, hydrogen is there is six then water will become three moles and how many oxygen oxygens are seven there is one oxygen from alcohol and this three will make this balanced chemical equation now if bond energies are given then we will sum up all the bond energies of the reactant separate and all the bond energies of the product separate then finally we will find the difference either we are subtracting from reactant uh, energy to of the product energy or from product to reactant energy finally we will we'll make a difference and accordingly put the sign from these values it will be quite clear either the process is exothermic or endothermic and if I want to write the air structure it can be written as just like this Now these displayed formulas are, are clearly indicating that in methanol three carbon hydrogen bonds are these and two bonds are these total carbon to hydrogen bonds are five carbon to carbon bond is one carbon to oxygen bond is one then oxygen to hydrogen bond is one all the values of bond energy will be added up for the ethanol and similarly the bond energy of oxygen double bond oxygen will be multiplied by 3 according to the balanced chemical equation and all these values will be summed up in the similar manner on the product side two moles of carbon dioxide are produced then there are two 
carbon to oxygen double bond present in one molecule in one mole and then carbon to double bond oxygen will, will be multiplied by four because one molecule contain two carbon oxygen double bond similarly in case of water there are two bonds of oxygen to hydrogen definitely oxygen to hydrogen bond energy will be multiplied by six because one more molecule contain two uh, oxygen to hydrogen bond in this manner from the values calculated we can easily subtract from each other that will give us difference and will indicate either the more energy is absorbed while breaking the bonds or more energy is released while forming the bond that's why it will become quite easy to decide either the reaction is exothermic or endothermic i think so